Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro, located in San Diego, California, where my firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime. In this video, I want to talk to you today about why you may have been booked in jail or why your paperwork, your bail paperwork, may say one thing. And when you get to court, it's a totally different charge, sometimes more serious, sometimes less serious. And there are many reasons for that, but the main reason is, is when you get arrested for an offense or when you're under investigation for an offense, that may just be what law enforcement thinks is the appropriate charge or what law enforcement thinks they will be able to present to a district attorney, what a district attorney may be able to prove. But what will happen a lot of times is you may get arrested on charge A and you go to court and you're like, wait a minute, that's not the charge that, that shows up in my paperwork. What's going on? That actually happens quite frequently because a prosecutor will look at the evidence, what they know at that point, and say, hey, wait a minute, we don't think we could, we don't think it's appropriate to charge you with what you got booked into jail on. We believe this charge is more appropriate. And other times they may look at it and say, hey, the cops were easy on you, booking you only in on this charge. We're going to file these charges up here, much more serious charges that may very well, in the prosecutor's mind, think that, oh, this is going to induce uh, an early guilty plea, you know, charge the kitchen sink, throw the kitchen sink at them, and hope they plead it down, right? So it happens more frequently than you would think, and I don't want you to get bent out of shape if you go to court and it's a different charge. And I also don't want you to get married to the concept of, well, whatever you're booked in on in jail, those are the only charges you could possibly see. Not true. You're booked in under suspicion of committing an offense, but you're not formally charged with the crime unless and until the prosecutor actually files a criminal complaint against you with the court. So a lot of times, oh, I'm charged with a DUI. I'm charged with, with uh, assault. Well, you were booked under, you're booked in jail under suspicion of that, right? But ultimately, you're not formally charged with a crime just yet. You may feel like it. You've already been to jail. You've already had to bail out of jail. It seems like so much is going on and so much has been taken away from you already. But that's not necessarily the case from a legal perspective. Have you formally been charged with an offense? So the key to take away from this video is, you know, don't get so caught up one way or the other, high or low, on what charges you may be under investigation for or what you may have been booked into jail on. Because when you go to court, if you get to court, it may be something totally different. And the value of hiring a quality, locally experienced criminal defense firm early on is to be able to call the prosecutor out on that and to say, hey, listen, you know, if you're factually innocent, to be able to present that. If you've done something and if there's something that we think they might be able to prove, say, hey, this is not this type of case. You know, we ask that you file it here. You know, and to get the prosecutor in that mindset of where we are, what we're thinking, because all else being equal, that will make a difference. It has made a difference. We see it day in, day out, week in, week out. When the prosecutor knows you have a reputable criminal defense law firm by your side, they think twice about overcharging a case, as they should. They think twice about even sometimes filing a case when they know you're represented the right way and your attorney and that law firm is being able to present information to the prosecutor that they normally might not get from any other attorneys. So all things to keep in mind if you're under investigation or if you're booked into jail and facing criminal charges moving forward. So if we could be of any help in any way with your case, particularly in San Diego County, feel free to give my firm a call. Again, Law Office of David P. Shapiro, 619-295-3555. My firm helps good people regain control of their future when charged with a crime.